timing the stitcher. You're not timing the ball. You're timing the stitcher. Understand that? If I'm a 90 mile an hour pitcher, you're timing the fact that I'm a 90 mile an hour pitcher. Understand? If you expect me to throw an 80 mile an hour changeup or 75 mile an hour breaking ball, you're timing me still as a pitcher, but you're expecting me to be that 75 mile an hour pitcher. Do you understand that? So the distance is always the same between the pitchers. So if I got a 70 mile an hour fastballer on the mound, what am I going to do with my timing? Slow it down. I'm going to slow my lower half down, which will allow the ball to do what? Travel. To travel. Okay? So if I'm in the box and I'm seeing a 70 mile an hour pitcher, I'm just going to slow my timing down as I go forward to allow the ball to get deeper. All right? Not let it get deep but let it get deeper when it comes in. There's no way that you can look at a baseball and tell the perception, by looking at the ball, tell the depth perception, okay? You can't say, all right, it's 10 feet out of his hand, it's 15 feet out of his hand, it's 18 feet out of his hand. You can't do that. Your eyes can't physically pick that up at 95 miles an hour. Understand? So I need to know what the pitcher's throwing. If he's 95 miles an hour, my time is set for 95 miles an hour. My time he's set 95 miles an hour and he throws me a change up or a breaking ball and I'm way out front and end up on my knee and look like an idiot, who cares? That's one strike. All your buddies can laugh at you all they want. It doesn't matter. Okay? Now you go to the box and you think, okay, maybe he's coming back with what? A fastball. Maybe he's coming back with what? A change up. Maybe he's coming back with a curveball. Okay? But do I step in the box with thinking maybe? No, I step into the box thinking of whatever pitch it is, and I set my timing for it again. Okay? So if I step back in the box and say, all right, he beat me on a breaking ball, he's going to come back with a fastball. I'm going to step back in the box thinking of the fastball. I'm going to look fastball. I'm going to get my timing for the fastball. If he throws me an off speed and I'm swinging out front, maybe I'll look like an idiot again. Right? Maybe I'll just look like a fool again. But guess what happens? I go to what approach now? Two strike. Two strike approach. And what am I looking for automatically? A breaking ball. So now I step back in the box looking for a breaking ball. Now what do I do with my timing? I set it for what speed? Slower. Slower speed. I'm looking at a 75 mile an hour pitcher now. Okay? So I step back in the box. 75 miles an hour, I slow that timing down. If he throws me a fastball, what do I do? Foul it off. I trust my hands. My hands are fast enough with me moving forward, gaining ground and transferring body weight. My hands are fast enough that I can fight that fastball off. If I was waiting on that curveball to get deep and travel, and I was going to watch it come out of his hand and travel and get deep, what would happen with a fastball? It'd go right past me. Do right you understand that? All you new guys, you understand that? They blow it right past me. So what I want to do is I want to just time the breaking ball. I'm going to time it, look for it, expect it. I'm going to see it, and when I see it, I'm going to hit it in the left center field gap as far as I can, hopefully over the fence. If he throws me a fastball, and my hands are fast enough, and he doesn't have enough uh, uh, speed drop between his fastball and his breaking ball, I'm going to take it the other way. Understand that? Or at least get a piece of it. So I can work myself into where he does throw me that pitch. And when he throws me that pitch, I'm going to drag it over to the left center field wall. You got it? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right, here we go.